Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. This is what it meant when my wife told me that her steering wheel wasn't straight anymore. It's turned to the right. supposed to be there. I asked her if she hit a curb or ran into anything and of course she didn't. But somehow, somehow this got bent here quite severely. Here's the replacement arm. 45 bucks. I already got the nut off on this end and this is free. I'm just a little worried about this one. Quite a bit of rust on this and this is the one with the eccentric on it. I can see which way it's pointed, so when I get it out, I can put the new arm in, and I should be able to get it pointed the same direction as far as the alignment. Obviously, obviously, right now the alignment is quite off, which is causing the steering wheel to, to be turned to the right. All there really is, there's a bolt and a nut on this end, on this end, and then there are, I'm assuming it's for the ABS. There is a wire that's hooked to it. You can see it here. There's clips holding it on that I'm going to have to try to get off without damaging. And it should come right out. There's not a lot of clearance between the inner bolt and your spare tire spot in your trunk so you're probably going to want to use an impact it'll be a 19 millimeter or three quarters they're the same size basically so you just want a short one with a impact swivel and you can buzz it out but before that you should mark where your eccentric is i didn't but i'm i know mine was at an obvious spot that i should be able to dupl duplicate it was pointed right towards the corner, so I should be okay. I'm going to finish taking it off with this three-quarter. And hopefully it comes right out. So here they are right next to each other. You can see the wall up to this one. I'm going to go ahead and drill those rivets out. And swap that piece of rubber over to that and then throw it back on. Okay, there we go. Looks good, ready to go back in. Everything's in place now. We just need to tighten these up and we'll be good to go. So 
So there we go, that's all there is to it. That's the new rear lower control arm in. This is a 11 year old car, almost 12 year old car. It's got a little bit of rust under it, so uh, that went surprisingly well. Just gotta throw the wheel back on and I'm gonna take it for a test drive. So don't be intimidated by something like that. That was a very easy repair. Um, minimal tools to do that yourself. Don't be afraid, just go ahead and turn some wrenches.